minutes ago. Cassie finally breaks her silence on Diddy and his apology after last week CNN released footage showing Diddy putting hands and feet on Cassie back in 2016. All right, now again, it's unclear as to where CNN was able to retrieve this footage from. A lot of people have been asking what took so long in the release of this footage, saying it dates back to 2016. However, since the release of this video, a lot of people are extremely upset and disgusted with Diddy and his actions displayed in the video. And eventually, uh, Diddy uploaded a video on IG addressing the shocking hotel footage of him putting hands and feet on Cassie. Now, moments ago, Cassie finally breaks her silence via IG with a post that reads, Thank you for all of the love and support from my family, friends, strangers, and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now, but this is only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down as someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. Thank you to everyone that has taken the time to take this matter seriously. My only ask is that everyone opens your heart to believing victims the first time. It takes a lot of heart to tell the truth out of a situation that you are powerless in. I offer my hand to those that are still living in fear. Reach out to your people. Don't cut them off. No one should carry this weight alone. This healing journey is never ending, but this support means everything to me. Thank you. Love always. Cassie. All right, now again, that was Cassie finally breaking her silence on the 2016 hotel video showing Diddy putting hands and feet on her. Okay, now again, uh, LA County, they put out a statement last week just addressing the video. A lot of people apparently, they're questioning why they, you know, police haven't arrested Diddy for this footage. Uh, of course, they mentioned statute of limitations. So, you know, here we are with it, right? Yesterday, you seen Joe Budden finally address uh, Diddy in, in the video. A lot of people, like I said, are, are very upset with Diddy because this whole time Diddy came out, you know, addressing these allegations, claiming, you know, full innocence. And then we see the video and, you know, without a doubt, this man is wrong, right? I've seen people on social media, you know, they try to come up with these scenarios to try to somehow justify a situation like this. However, we've seen it in 4K. You know, Diddy should never, no man or woman should ever put their hands on an individual, you know, especially uh, in situations where, you know, it costs you your freedom. You, you, come on. You, you are a billionaire, once was a billionaire, and now, you know, all of this is, is, is coming to an end, right? Now, the one thing I will say that Cassie said in her statement about believing victims first, listen, I will say this is something that you should take seriously, right? But we all know that you cannot foolishly or blindlessly, right, um, believe a claim or allegation without proof or evidence because people have lost their lives, their freedom, all over false allegations. I know people personally who have, you know, have been sent to jail based on false allegations. You get what I mean? So this stuff is real, right? Uh, but regardless, when we're talking about what we've seen on this video, there is no explanation, right? There is no justification. Diddy is clearly wrong, hence why he decided to finally show face versus, you know, this PR campaign where he's putting out these statements, you know what I mean, things that the lawyer is, is advising him to say, listen, it's, it's no way out of this, you know what I mean? You got family, right? You have supporters, so many people that, you know, believe in you and your brand, and now, you know, you can't decide to, you know, go AWOL, no. Come out the nest. People saying he hiding with Russell. <laughs> Show face on camera, right? And apologize for your actions. You know what I mean? And hope and pray that people will show you mercy because, again, for years, he claimed his innocence. So now everyone is coming out publicly denouncing Diddy, right? And their association with him and his brand. So, again, y'all let me know. What are your thoughts on Cassie finally breaking her silence on this 2016 hotel video? Uh, again, do you think that Diddy was sincere in his apology? I see that there's another person coming forward with another lawsuit. I mean, I'm not sure is this the end uh, when it comes to the Diddy controversy. However, I'm curious to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Again, my name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace, you now tuned in to MREC TV.
if someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Kings of Comedy, this your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming around. No, I know me old f***ing with lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The f*** wrong with you? Aldi's, you shouldn't eat this We don't know what the f*** that meat is. Prison. That's not the, the part about it. The, the part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't help him. I said, it ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, no, <laughs> sir. Punchline, punchline, punchline. Get out of the car. Give me a second.